Attention Billy Sports Bar, we have Mitch completing the Billy Burger Challenge. Let's give him a round of applause. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Magic Mitch, the food adventurer, bringing you another food challenge video. And in this food adventure, I'm battling a five bacon cheeseburger eating challenge in New Hampshire. Now before we get into the nitty gritty details of the battle at hand, if this is your first time watching, first of all, welcome. Like I said before, my name is Magic Mitch and I embark on epic eating adventures and battle all kinds of food challenge monstrosities, just like the one you're watching right now. So if you're interested in watching more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, be sure to like and follow the page. So as I continued on with my East Coast and Canada tour, I found myself at a place called Billy's Sports Bar in Manchester of New Hampshire. And it was there that I was taking on their five burger challenge. Now with this five burger challenge, obviously you have five burgers. Each of them are a half pound topped with barbecue sauce, cheese, and Canadian bacon. Along with those five burgers are a basket of fries and five pickle spears. So this would be an ideal challenge for fellow food fighter Nathan Figueroa. Now for this burger challenge, you have 30 minutes to complete the meal. And if you're able to do so, you get the $30 meal for free, a free shirt, and your picture up on their wall of fame. So a fun little fact, this challenge actually used to be only four burgers, but the restaurant decided to step things up for Randy Santel and myself by adding another burger. And full disclosure, at the time of this challenge, the record was 16 minutes and 37 seconds, set by another food fighter, Dr. Ramsey the Mantis Hilton. But that record was smashed by the big man himself, who completed this challenge in an impressive 8 minutes and 43 seconds. Now, I had no intentions of trying to beat his record, because not only was that an impressive time, but to give you guys some context, as I mentioned in previous videos, this was my first real food challenge marathon. And the only thing I've done that was even remotely close to this was the Get Big Michigan Tour, where I did 10 food challenges in 10 days. Now compare that to this trip, where this was my 21st food challenge of the trip. And I still had a few food adventures left to do on this tour, so I wanted to make sure that I had at least a little magic left in the tank before this tour was completed. So for this challenge, my main quest was to definitely get the win, but also as a fun little side quest, I wanted to see if I could beat the old record of 1637 and become the first person to win and follow it up with my trademark push-ups. Alright, so as far as my tactics on this challenge, there were a couple of ways I thought about attacking it, but what I ended up doing was systematically taking them down piece by piece, starting with the army of burgers first, then moving on to the pickles, and then finishing the fries last. Now, I did it that way because I wasn't too worried about flavor fatigue, but if I had to be honest, I wish I would have had some of those pickles sooner because eating all those pickles together wasn't exactly the most enjoyable. And you know what? Let me know in the comments below how you would attack this burger challenge. Alright, so as far as my thoughts go on this burger challenge, in terms of the setup, I'm giving this one a 4 to 5. First of all, it's got that gold standard, which you guys know I love so much, which is the free meal, the free shirt, and your picture up on their wall of fame, if you're able to complete the challenge. And also, as a side note, even though on paper it just sounds like another burger challenge, for some reason, I really liked it. Maybe because it's just not another big burger challenge and you actually have multiple smaller burgers to take down. Or maybe it was the people there who were cheering me on and added to a great atmosphere. Or maybe because even though it was a burger challenge, it was a great tasting one. Which is why for the taste on this one, I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. Because let me tell you, these were some banging burgers. As you're biting into them, you first get that soft bun, then the burger patty, then the barbecue sauce and cheese, and then the bacon, and it just all melts into your mouth, layer by layer. Which does sound a little crazy coming from myself, considering I'm eating these at a more than normal pace. But on the flip side of that, if it didn't taste good, it certainly would be harder to eat fast, because the flavor would be another obstacle to overcome during this challenge. And now, if you made it this far into the video, I'm assuming you're enjoying your time watching me tear through this small army of bacon cheeseburgers. And if that's the case, be sure to leave a little magic of your own by liking and sharing the video with someone you think would enjoy this food adventure. And if you want to continue the journey with me and see what other food monstrosities I'm battling next on this East Coast and Canada tour, be sure to subscribe, or if you're watching this on Facebook, be sure to like the page. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next food adventure.
Let's give Mitch some encouragement. All he has is the pickle left. Once again, this is for you, Chomp. Then they realize if you fail, you get hurt. I want to get hurt. 